So you do a lot of uh, singing musicals, I've heard, right? I do, yes. Yeah, My Fair Lady. Yep, I've done uh, My Fair Lady, uh, The King and I. Um, I've done Les Miserables, uh, We Will Rock You. Um, so yeah, I've done, I've done quite a few. Uh, these are all amateur productions, but hopefully after the Eurovision, I'll, I'll be able to get ones. Yeah. I heard you travelled for a little while to get here. I mean, he came from London, basically, or from Essex, but um, travelled pretty far to get here. You spent how many hours? Uh, in total, I was picked up in Chelmsford, and 36 hours later, I was in my hotel room. Sorry to say, but the planes did fly, though. They did. I know, but, I'm sorry. But we did. We just wanted to make sure that we got here. We didn't want anything to stop us, and I think it was uh, it was the safest option. I doubt you're going to vote for Iceland, are you? <laughs> you might, I'm sorry. You might not be that happy with Iceland this time, but hey, it's okay. So he's going to sing with his uh, girls. Where are they? Come on, Great. Here they are. Wow, beautiful girls. Here we go. Let's uh, hope the sun comes out pretty soon, right? Can you do it for right. me? I'll try and bring the sunshine. Yeah. You going to bring the good times? I think you're going to bring it, right? <laughs> Let's see if you can bring the good times for us. You can do that? Yeah, hopefully. Here we go. go. Josh. Wait, Josh! <laughs> with Josh here on the Big Five boat trip. Josh performed outside earlier, sailing down the fjords. Yep, I did. Enjoyed it? Oh, I loved it. Yeah, I really loved it. And uh, I think all of the other uh, the other delegations liked it as well. Not, I mean, performing themselves too. Yeah. Now, obviously, there's uh, the Big Five aren't involved now until Saturday. Yep. Um, are you going to get a chance to watch the semi-finals? I am, yes. Uh, the first one's tonight, isn't it? So yeah. I'm going to go along and uh, show my support yeah. for all the countries and see what we're up against. Okay. Now, we saw you performing at the Israel party. Yep. Um, that was the biggest Israel party we've seen in Eurovision. It was lovely. It was really good yeah, was fun, great. and you look like you were having a good time. I did. I, I mean, I'll tell you what, um, I, I wasn't lying when I said that Harold was one of my favourite entries. Uh, and to perform at his party, you know, that was a fantastic experience for me. And they, they were such a great audience. They, they were really up for a laugh and they had a great time. Sure. How, how many of the other delegations have you met and who are your favourites other than Israel? Um, to be honest, walking around, I just kind of introduce myself to people. I, I'm not sure if they think it's rude or anything, but I just kind of go and say, oh, hi, I'm UK, nice to meet you. And uh, so I've met... Um, I won't do it in order of appearance. I'm, I'm <laughs> uh, I've met um, Daniel Dikes um, from Spain. I've met um, Lena over there. Uh, I've met obviously everybody on this boat. Uh, the the big five. Um, I've met myself. Um, and I've met um, Harold Scott Israel. I've met John Lily Green from Cyprus. I've met um, Eastern European Funk. I've met those guys. Um, Who are your favourites? My favourite. Favourite songs. It's my favourite songs. Um, definitely Hero. Um, I think he, the, that ballad seems to, it, it just clicks with me and it just, uh, I think he's got a beautiful voice and he, he does it, he sings it very well. I'm uh, very jealous of his range as well, it's brilliant. Um, and also actually, uh, before we were rehearsing for the dress rehearsals, Norway were before us and I, I was just kind of found myself humming this song, so I think Norway as well, one, one of my favourites, but um, as I say, there's, there are so many great entries this year, it's hard to choose. Now, it's really good to see the British singer um, getting out there and meeting everyone this year. How does it feel representing the United Kingdom? I mean, are you getting a lot of messages of support from home? 
Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, uh, my mum, my mum and girlfriend and sister are actually coming out tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so they've been at home, kind of telling me what's been happening and who's been uh, really supportive. And everyone seems to be really up for it this year. I, I think it helped last year for us to come fifth with Jade and Angelo Weber. Because now I think this year people are thinking, you know, we might have a shot, and, and they're showing a lot more interest. But to perform here, it's, it's definitely a dream, and I, I thought it's went. Now, being honest, when, when the song was first heard in the British final, it didn't go down particularly well with the fans. Um, we've heard a few revisions. It's coming up and up and up in the polls. We're, we're quite looking forward to the launch of the big poll on, yeah. uh, on Friday to see where you're going to be. Okay. Um, a lot of people decided to tip me for the top ten at least. Brilliant. Um, Lovely. <laughs> what, do, what do you think is going to happen on Saturday? How, how high up the scoreboard do you want to be? You know what? I I really can't call this one. I have no idea. I literally, it's a it's a lottery, and I think because there are so many great acts. I mean, you you heard myself. I couldn't decide which was my favourite. There are so many brilliant acts this year. Um, I mean, obviously, top ten would be lovely. Top five would be even better. But to win would be incredible. So, uh, I mean, touch wood, and with a bit of luck, and with uh, with the performances that we give, hopefully, we'll come out with a good result. Cool. And uh, about the charts back home, there's, I don't know if you know, there's a campaign with some of your fans to get you to number one when know, the song comes out. It's fantastic. Um, how's that going? Are you getting involved with them? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not out of vanity, but I've kind of joined all these groups that are really supportive because I've, I feel like um, it's nice for them to have the actual person involved as well. So I've been just saying, oh, thank you so much, guys. I keep it up. And uh, oh, it's, it's touching to know that people are doing that for me and for the UK. You know, it's... Uh, it's a really lovely feeling. So, uh, if you're if you're watching this, thank you so much, and keep doing all the good work. You're doing a great job. Thank you, Josh. Thank you very much. Best of luck for Saturday. Thank you. Cheers.